everybody welcome back to the channel that's awesome now today we're gonna be meeting this guy now this this is snowball and obviously we're learning about our topic is bunnies so the first thing is when when people get a bunny they're not really noticed how much hard work it is now there are lots there are a little easier than you think, though. I don't want to make it so complicated, but it is pretty hard. Now, I'm going to go over what I do, uh, my routine, my feeding routine, um, my exercise routine for them, and a little bit more and some fun facts. So, yeah, one, the first one, the first thing is that they can tear up your house. Now you need to bunny proof your house, which means covering your baseboards because they have teeth like this. destructive right so that's something you gotta worry about now that was just a cardboard fort i made for them and oh they love making card they love making cardboard forts even though they'll destroy them the cardboard is good for their teeth because their teeth grow every day so i would recommend like a play block for like little children learning you know those blocks I wouldn't recommend those hay blocks, even though they have hay and they do cut down their teeth. I wouldn't recommend those hay blocks. Speaking of hay, now it's time to go for my daily feeding routine. Now, usually in the morning, I'll give them these pellets. Um, and then I give them pellets and Timothy hay. Now, I recommend Timothy hay for you. And then maybe I'll give them a carrot in the morning to munch on. And then I'll check them on in the middle of the day. Um, in the middle of the day, I, I'll usually let them get out of their pen and get some exercise. As you saw that uh, fort I was talking about, that was, part, that was part of what I usually do when I'm usually, when they're usually out. And I usually watch them so they don't destroy my baseboards now. I usually give them romaine lettuce or just regular carrots. Now, if you want to give them treats, I would not recommend those treats from the store. Do not buy those treats from the store. They are very bad for them. Now, I would recommend just cutting up an, an apple and give them like a slice now, of. If apple. you have a dog, you, I I just let the I just let the bunny go in the cage and the dog kind of get up in the um by the cage and. They can kind of sniff each other. But now if you have a bulldog or one of those really big dogs, I wouldn't really recommend a bunny for you because bunnies are prey animals in the wild and they can get startled and maybe even die. Hope you liked the video. Hit, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe to That's Awesome. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!